What is up? Jossie here. So in today's video, I'm doing a little bit of like a vlog segment along with talking about some of the new upgrades to my desk because a lot of times I like use a new device or upgrade something and you'll ask in the comment section like, hey, what you know pair of headphones is that? Or what laptop are you using? So one thing I'll be sure to do as well is to make sure that all the items I talk about are in the description box. Um, I gotta do a better job with making sure my description box with the Amazon affiliate links are up to date. But um, yeah, if you haven't already, I love for you all to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps out with the algorithm a ton. And let's get started talking about the really minimal um, upgrades I have to my desk setup. I'm really excited to be able to start this video early in the year so I can progress and make upgrades and then kind of have like a reflection at the end. So before we get into today's video, I figured I'd do some like vlog kind of style content just because I'm always filming in the crib. But uh, yeah, the place is kind of messy. It'll look better in a few moments, but I'm about to go run a Chipotle. It's actually like over 55 degrees today. But check these out. I just picked up these new New Balance 327s. Straight heat, oh my gosh. So I replaced my New Balance 993s with these just because I had this like kind of weird foot growth <laughs> in my early 20s and uh, I can't fit some of my old sneakers. So I just picked these up. this weather it's great I mean can't ask for better weather in the beginning of March the Sun's starting to come out and it's like 60 degrees so the Chipotle that's literally right around the corner from where we live is closed due to um, not having water running water so now we actually have to get in the car and drive somewhere, which is kind of a bummer, but it's all good. So for my birthday, Lee got me the audio engine A2 plus speakers, and I was really surprised. Honestly, she's the best wife in the world for that. I only mentioned them like once or twice because speakers weren't really at the top of my desk set up you know things that i want to get next because i had just got some logitech speakers not too long ago but needless to say these speakers are incredible and they made me realize how underrated having good speakers is for your desk setup first off the sound is incredible and really sets the mood for me when i'm trying to be creative or problem solving. These speakers are powered with high fidelity stereo sound that really fills the room. Sometimes I'll even play some lo-fi in the background while I'm reading or watching something on the couch. These speakers are also Bluetooth enabled and I find it pretty easy to pair and switch in between devices. Another thing I really like about these speakers is that they are designed for small spaces, which fits great within my desk setup. All right, the next thing. So I really felt like my desk was looking kind of bland and I got kind of tired of using the same, you know, keyboard, Logitech keyboards that I've been using for the past two years. They're great and all, but I felt like my desk looked a little bit sterile and I wanted to, you know, brighten it up a little bit, add some more pop of color. So I picked up the Keychron K2 version two, this is a mouthful, wireless Bluetooth RGB backlit keyboard. So this was a great pickup. I'm honestly shocked that this keyboard is under $100. It has really good weight to it. It's solidly built. Is solidly a word? Everything about this keyboard looks great and it doesn't feel cheap at all. I was really shocked at how heavy it was. So I decided to get the Keychron K2 version two wireless mechanical keyboard because 
One, it's a lot smaller than the Logitech keyboards I've been using the past almost two years now. And I really enjoy having more space for my desk countertop because of the multitude of devices I've been using for work and personally. I also think that this keyboard looks really good and makes my desk setup more aesthetically pleasing. Also, I really do like that this keyboard is RGB backlit. It's really helpful when I'm selecting shift keys, you know, caps lock, amongst other keys. Also, the RGB backlit feature makes my typing experience feel more immersive. I'm honestly still shocked that this is under $100. I know I mentioned that earlier, but the only thing is that I wish there was a little bit more space between each key. Other than that, I'm loving this upgrade. And of course, I have to obnoxiously type sometimes. Last but not least is this baby cactus that I picked up from my local plant store called Stump. I also got this terracotta ceramic potter because I think this contrasts well with my countertop and backdrop. I also ordered some gravel that's gonna make this plant and pot combination look even better and more modern for my desk setup. Regardless, I wanted to add a new plant to my desk, kind of like changing the overall theme especially since summer's coming, cactus, summertime, you know, hot weather, maybe that makes sense, maybe it doesn't, whatever. I think it's great to have a combination of tech and design with nature for a sense of serenity. Yeah, this was a different kind of video, kind of like vlog style, and then talking about some of my upgrades just to put some content out there and to be more consistent. So it really helps if you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Um, your desk setup and upgrades that you have made or plan on making just so I can know that you actually like seeing this kind of content. It is 5.59 p.m. I thought I'd be a little bit more productive, but it's good to get rest on Sunday and recharge for the rest of the week. But I'm gonna still take advantage of this really nice weather and the fact that it gets dark a lot later now and I'm gonna hop on my bike and do like a cardio for 30 minutes and then I have another workout that I have to do based on my workout plan. All right, so you can see the desk is a mess. I'll get to some of the desk upgrade stuff a little bit later. You know, I'm gonna be filming in the dark a little bit, but uh, it's cool. I guess you guys don't really care. You just wanna see content. I always want things to be perfect, but they don't always have to be perfect. Anyways, this is Lee's desk and there's paperwork everywhere. There's, um, <laughs> we got some plants. We love always having plants. Um, and then this is just my stuff. Like literally we share like keyboards cause I have like three, at least three. And then this is just a monitor for my camera. Um, my desk storage. <laughs> yes, I use her desk as storage. And then this is my uh, incredible tripod, but look at outside. Oh my gosh. It's still light outside and it's it's six, it's 601. So this is my bike. This is called the Specialized, um, I think it's the Diverge. It's been so long, it's so dusty. Look at the dust, you can see the dust on the bike, like this is bad. But um, this is the Diverge and it's basically like a cross or in between a road bike and a, I guess, mountain bike. So it's kind of like a hybrid um but yeah it's really dusty oh my gosh it's crazy sometimes i ride lee's bike so this is the allay the specialized allay so her bike is a bit faster than mine but um my bike is meant for the road and off-road which is why i have a little bit more um uh, space in between um whatever what is this thing called again lee the fork the fork <laughs> so i have a little bit more space yes and this is carbon fiber and um, the tires are, can be a lot wider. So I uh, haven't experienced wider tires yet, but one of these days I will. But yeah, anyways, about to hop on a bike. So I am not proud of this, uh, this closet space. I'm not proud of it at all, but um, I gotta grab my bike helmet. Some of this stuff is just unnecessary. Like why, why do we have this? I guess that's for Christmas, but uh, definitely gotta stay safe and protect my brain with this uh, helmet by uh, Smith and it's got like this matte black finish and uh, it goes perfectly with my bike. Like I <laughs> right there, babe. Yo, we really need to do something with this wall because 
it's it's super bland. So um, instead of replacing or cycling through different pictures way over there where my desk is, um, we should, babe, we should actually get like some like 18 by 24 frames for this like white wall. 